Hey guys, Credit Shifu here, and today we are gonna be looking at the IKEA Visa card issued by Comenity Bank, which is actually the biggest issuer of store branded uh, credit cards uh, in the US. Uh, this is the card, it's made of wood. Just kidding, it's just a design. Anyway, um, and we're gonna be telling you how you can get free shipping uh, with this card for a limited time only. Uh, but first of all, we'll run through some of the key stats of the card. So first of all, the sign up bonus on this card, uh, it's sort of split in two. So you get a $25 IKEA voucher uh, when you make a purchase in IKEA on the day that you open the card, okay? So I'm guessing this is sort of one of those cards that you're in the store, the, the salesperson will say, hey, you know, you get some extra benefit if you sign up for our store branded credit card and you sign up for it and then, yeah, you get a $20, $25 voucher for IKEA um, if you make a purchase that day. And then the second part of the sign up bonus is you get another $25 IKEA credit or IKEA voucher uh, if you spend $500 in the first three months at places other than IKEA, outside of IKEA, just regular spending, okay? So it's the sign up bonus is worth $50 it's a pretty bad sign up bonus to be honest. Um, if you look at the Chase Freedom, uh, that's another card that is in sort of the same tier, what I like to call tier two credit card, um, but has no annual fee, but does give some sort of rewards, so tier two. Um, the Chase Freedom offers a $150 sign up bonus. Um, City Double Cash is offering a $100 sign up bonus right now, uh, and that's all. Those are all for spending. Normally it's 500 in the first three months. Same amount of spending, uh, Chase Freedom, three times the value. All right, now let's look at the cashback earning on this card. So this card earns 5% back at Ikea. So it's basically having a 5% discount at Ikea, which is pretty cool. Um, the next category is 3% on dining, groceries, and utilities. So this is sort of an everyday spending card and then 1% cashback on everything else. But this cashback, it's not true cashback. It's actually Ikea store vouchers in increments of $15. So when you build up to $15, you get one statement credit on your card and they have to be used within 45 days and you know they're only usable at IKEA. So that's sort of a little bit of a drawback of it. It's not true cashback, but if you are someone who's gonna buy a lot of stuff at IKEA, uh, then that would be useful. Uh, now let's talk about the free shipping. So they're actually doing a promotion for this card for free shipping uh, until August 31st, 2018, okay? So IKEA shipping, it's quite expensive. Um, it's between $29 and $59, depending on the items that you're shipping. It used to be more expensive, actually. It used to be $100 um, for just however little or however much you're shipping. Now they've sort of realized, oh, 100 flat rate is a bit excessive, so they've 29 for smaller items and 59, basically 60 bucks for larger shipments. So who do I think this card would be useful for? Well, my opinion on this, um, is that for most people you wouldn't want to get this card but it could be really useful and could save quite a lot of money for people who you know young people who are just fitting out their first home and you know when you're young most of your stuff comes from Ikea just because it's cheap and convenient all right I remember when I moved into my first apartment with Mrs. Credit Shifu all right after I moved out of my apartment with bros you know which was just like one bed in a very small room in a shared apartment okay we moved in with Mrs. Credit Shifu I moved in with Mrs. Credit Shifu and uh, you know it has to be nice, right? So we fitted out our little studio in Queens with uh, furniture from Ikea. I think we spent about $800 at Ikea buying like a bed, uh, cabinets, etc., and um, $100 in shipping. So we spent $900 um, at Ikea. And you know, my second house now, less of the furniture is from Ikea. I think next house only maybe 20% will be from Ikea or something. And I'm gonna feel like I've really made it in life when most of my furniture doesn't come from Ikea. You know what I mean? Um, so anyway, I think this, fun, uh, this card would be really good for someone who is fitting out their house this summer and most of their furniture is gonna come from Ikea because they'll get that free shipping. Let's just do a little bit of a breakdown of how much value you get out of it. So we'll use an example, someone spending $800 at Ikea. So let's say they get the sign up bonuses. So $25 for making a purchase the day you open the card and an additional $25 for spending 500 outside of Ikea in the first three months. So you get 50 bucks from that. Um, then you get 5% back at Ikea, uh, which is gonna be $40. And then also you spent $500 outside of Ikea. So you're gonna get 1% on that, um, which is five bucks. 45 bucks, okay, in, in cashback rewards, um, plus the 50 bucks, so you're up to 95. Uh, and then uh, you're gonna get, you're gonna be saving $60 because you're getting free shipping. Um, if you ship everything in one go, then you're saving 60. Uh, if you shipped in several batches, you'd be saving more than that. We'll, we'll just do the minimum, 60 bucks. So you're gonna be saving, um, you're gonna be getting sort of $150 in value in 
split between you know cashback vouchers and free shipping. So I would definitely say that is quite cool for someone who's going to be fitting out that uh, their house this summer. So if you want to get the free shipping, uh, apply for this card before August. Uh, free shipping ends on August 31st. Let's now talk about what this card is not. And it is not a card to finance large items or home improvement or whatever from IKEA. IKEA has another card for things like that, and it's called the IKEA Project card, okay? P-R-O-J-E-K-T, sort of Scandinavian uh, spelling there. And that card is an actual store card. It doesn't have the Visa logo on it. It's just an IKEA store card. It can only be used at IKEA. And the way it works is they give a 4.99% interest rate uh, on financing items over $5,000. Has to be one purchase that's over $5,000. Can't be lots of little things that make up $5,000. Also, installation fees are not covered in that. So let's say you buy a new kitchen from Ikea, like one big purchase, 5,000 uh, bucks, and then you know, you're gonna pay for guys to install it. You'd have to pay that installation separately uh, because that's not covered under the 4.99% uh, for 60 months uh, financing, okay? 60 months, by the way, is five years. So you get that real low interest rate for five years. Um, just a little side note though, uh, if you want to pay it off over, say, one year, um, you actually would be better off going for a card that offers a 0% APR for the first 12 months or whatever, first 15 months. I think Chase Freedom does it, first 15 months, 0%. So introductory APR, you know? So there you go. If you want to spread the payments over five years, you can get 4.99% for five years with the project card from Ikea. All right, guys, um, what do you think of this review of the Ikea Visa card? Uh, is it right for you? Do you agree with my appraisal of it that it would be good for people who are fitting out their house with stuff this summer? And then probably they won't touch the card again unless they move home and they want to buy loads of stuff from Ikea again. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Have you got the card? Have you used it? Let me know how it is. Okay, please subscribe for new credit card tips and tricks almost every day, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.